I nod the laugh. All right, welcome to our first M squared online video, right? And cherry break. And since everybody is stuck inside and quarantining themselves and whatever, I'm gonna give you a little bit of puppy um, practice so that you don't miss anything in our class. So we're gonna re remind you about It's Your Choice. And so remember the principle of It's, it's Your Choice is our basis for everything. Um, we are going to put some food in our hand, right? Good girl, Cherry. This puppy knows the game pretty well. Eventually, if, at first, your dog may just want to touch your hand, right? They might want to try to get the treat. So I'm going to get her very excited about the treat. Cherry. Oh, look, Cherry. Look. If she comes to my hand, I just close my hand, right? So once she backs up, good girl. I'm going, and she looks at me. I'm going to mark it and reward her. Now she's licking me. Touching, yes, good girl. When she backs away and looks at me, I'm gonna reward her. I'm gonna keep my hand still, right? I don't care that she comes towards my hand. I don't care that she tries to touch me, good. But she must not, um, she must not be touching me. I'm going to open my hand, good girl. She looks at me, I mark her, yes, good girl. Then I reward her. If when I say, good girl, and she comes back at my hand again, right? She's not allowed to touch me, so the game starts over. So. If I say, good girl, right? Oh, she's like, I can't fake her out right now. Good job. Oh, and see how she came back to my hand, even though I didn't give it to her yet? Because of that, I'm just going to keep my hand still and keep the treat covered and wait for her. Yes, good girl. And she looked at me and she, game started over. Good girl. Now I'm going to reward her. If your puppy does not look at you initially, you might want to take the treat to your eye, right? Look at the puppy, get her eye contact, then reward her. You must make sure that you give her your markers, which is good girl or yes. And after that would come the reward. So yes, good girl, I get eye contact and I reward her. You can do that with the dish as well. Same thing when you're, maybe you're feeding your puppy in the crate or even just play the game with her, right? So the first time I might hold her collar and I might set it in front of her. And if she goes to dive on it, which she knows better than that, then I would just cover it up and wait for her to back up. Yes, good girl. Because she backs up and waits for her, then I'm gonna reward her out, right out of the dish. Yes, good girl. So let's see if we can get her to fail. Ready, you wanna get the food? You wanna get it? You wanna get it? Can you get it? You wanna get it? Oh, that's a free cookie because it fell on the floor. You wanna get it? No, you wanna get it? She says, nope, I already know this game. So see how she comes to it? I, bet I hold my hand over it. I wait for her to look at me. Good girl. I mark it and then I reward her. Good girl. Okay. All right. So now we're going to do the collar grab game. And from here, we are going to add uh, some people into it. Um, excuse you. You are not released. Get in the kennel. Sparkle, get in the kennel. Cherry, wait. Good girl, Lola. My other dogs are playing crate games while we're working with Cherry, so... They get rewarded because they were good. Sparkle does not because um, she broke her space. Sparkle in the kennel. Sparkle in the kennel. Get back in there. Good job. See, if you take a look at the dogs in the crates, their doors are open. Um, they're sitting there nice and quietly while I'm playing with the puppy. I'm going to reward them from a distance. Whoops. And she, good girl. She held her space. Good girl. Because she held her space, and I'll just go back and reward her. If you have a good throw, apparently that wasn't a good one, you can toss it. Uh-oh. Look, that one wasn't good. It fell all the way through there. Sorry about that, Dazzle. But you notice, even though it went between the crates, she still had the choice to come out, and she didn't. Which, that was pretty good. If you have a good enough throw, you can toss it from across the room. All right, now Cherry. So, we're, collar grab is very important with your young puppies. You want to make sure that they're just um, get it, they're, they're comfortable with you just touching their collar, right? Some dogs will shrink away from you when they touch your collar. How you start it is you just touch their collar, you reward them. At the same time the hand comes to the collar, you must give them the reward, okay? Touch the collar, give them a reward. You can mark it, say yes, good girl, right? Yes, good girl, and just reward her. From there, you're going to reach up. What were you doing? What were you doing, Sparkle? Wait, Cherry. Good job, Lola. Good job, Dazzle. 
Very good. Excellent, Cherry. Look how you waited for me. That was very good. Okay, from there, right, you want to get a little faster. I want to grab her collar. I want to reward her, right? Maybe I move my hand away. I get her a little excited. I just want her to follow me for a minute. Grab her collar and reward her, right? You want to be able to come in very quickly and grab them without the dog shrinking away. Um, reason being is if you have to grab your dog, um, there's an emergency and I need to grab my dog to keep them from the other dog or something I don't want them to eat or whatever. Um, you need to be able to grab them without them shrinking away from you. All right, I'm going to bring in my helpers. Evelyn and Isabel are going to come in and help me and we're going to play a little game with Cherry. Okay, so we're going to get into a little circle. Triangle. Stop this camera. Shape. 